Bum, 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 Welcome back, my friend. This is BJJ Brick Quick. My name is Byron. This is your Quick Jiu-Jitsu Podcast. All week long, we're talking about pro tips. Last week, it was advanced tips. The week before that, beginner's tips. The week before that, I talked about the Wright Brothers. Man, what a home run of episodes that was. <laughs> Yeah, I really didn't do jiu-jitsu. Anyway, I got the whole my whole document about past episodes up on my screen right now, so I can go back. But uh, that's far enough. I've already killed 40 seconds of this episode, and I haven't dished out the pro tip yet. What's the deal? It's a quick episode. Quick podcast. He's still delaying. Beating around the bush. Maybe there's no content here. I don't know. All right. Here's the pro tip number two. You got to have a schedule. And keep with it. I think a schedule makes it easier for you to uh, maintain uh, like that long-term focus. Man, it's easy to get ready for a tournament, you know, in a week. That's not easy. But it's like, you're going to be super focused that week. You're going to be kicking butt. If the tournament's three months out, you're going to dilly-dally in your training. Your diet might slip. All these things are so far away. What's this, you know, who cares about the eating a couple of cheeseburgers and a whole bunch of ice cream? The week before the tournament, you're going to get focused, you know. But I really urge you, if jiu-jitsu, and I, and I classified this last time, what's pro tip, people who take jiu-jitsu seriously, who want to win matches, who want to, you know, it's not, not merely a hobby for them. You may not be a black belt, but these pro tips, they're for you. Have a schedule. You know, I'm talking about your jiu-jitsu training. You're training, you know, these days, every week, at these times. Unless something catastrophic happens or family emergency or, you know, employment problems, that's when you're training. You're going to go other training. So I don't know what that would be for you, but, you know, weights or cardio, whatever, put that on the schedule. Maybe the day you do weights is a lighter day in jujitsu. Maybe you're scheduling, you know, three hard jujitsu sessions a week. And, and three that aren't nearly as hard. And you do your weights and cardio. Uh, you do your cardio on the tough days or your weights on the easy days. What I don't know. I think part of becoming a, uh, a professional athlete in jiu-jitsu is you don't have the support of, like, a coaching staff. <laughs> kind of have to figure this out on your, on your own. But if you, if, if you lift heavy weights, you walk into the gym and you're really tired, and you roll like a champion, although well, maybe you do that. But I would guess you probably wouldn't roll super good. Maybe that'd be a day to roll lighter. But maybe you could do your card. Maybe you could run a good 5K or do some, um, some sprints before class and come in and roll just fine. How about your food? What's your schedule of food look like? Do, like, are you planning out your food at the beginning of the week, your meal plans? You cook a bunch of chicken and vegetables at the beginning of the week. You've got it all week long. Or are you going home at night, swinging by, grabbing a cheeseburger, uh, you know, after class because you're starving You've just burned a million calories. Who cares? It all goes, it all burn is burn. You know, it's just going to be calories. Or are you being strategic and you're eating healthy foods? You're nursing your body. You know, have a, have a plan with that. If, if you're pretty, pretty good at that, that's one more arrow in the quiver for your success. And then have a schedule that's going to, overall here, it's going to peak at the right time. And you see this a lot with MMA athletes because they do have the coaching staff. They do have the nutritionists. They do have people that support them and help them all along the way and, and be strategic about making their weight and the nutrition. And, okay, we got to work on this, these, you know, this things because you're fighting this person. Like, they have it all planned out. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of like a lot of them do. You need to. It's tough, but you got to figure that out yourself. <laughs> and you want to peak. You want to get. You want to get your your weight on point. Your nutrition is. You're moving really well. You know your your jujitsu feels good, and you you feel good about your game and your system that you have. Um, and you're confident. You're mentally ready. All that needs to peak. When you're ready, when it's, when the competition is, you don't want to peak two weeks early or a week late. <laughs> now I'm not saying that it needs to level off right away. Like we can only be the absolute best we can. 
We can't do that all the time. We, it's a short time. It's hard to maintain. Now you can improve as you go, and hopefully you do. But you hear the MMA guys talk about, yeah, I got a, I, I didn't I peak last week, or I, you know, I got injured, and and here I am. Like they're not hitting their peak when it's time to compete. It might look like your last week of jujitsu training is pretty light. You're letting your body recover. You feel good about the way you're moving. You're, you're doing getting light rolls with a lot of movement in. You're not doing, you know, ADC twenty ADCC twenty minute rounds with the best person in the gym, you know, over and over again. Figure out what's right for you, your for your body, and peak at the right time. And I think this is much easier if you have a schedule that you follow. I mentioned a few things. Your jiu-jitsu, your like weight training, cardio, food, uh, mental side of jiu-jitsu, like kind of get your mind in the game. But all those things. You know, have work squared away. Like if you're, if you're stepping on the mat to compete and you're stressed about your job, that's, that's an extra hurdle you just put in there mentally. <laughs> if you can get that vacation time and, and square it away with, with a coworker that's going to take got your back, you don't have to worry about that one bit. You want to be concentrated on the on that person in front of you. On the mats. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you want to support the podcast, go to Patreon. Type in BJJ Brick. Support us for as little as a dollar per month. You can do as much as you want. But a dollar per month is kind of what uh, most people do. If you're able to. If you're not, hey, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're listening. Glad you're doing jiu-jitsu. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, once we get to $100 a month, I'm going to crank out an episode every day of the week. That's the goal. It might take us a little while to get there. You go to patreon.com, type in BJ Bricks, see how close we are. Yours might be the one that pushes us over. <laughs> I don't know where we're at right now because I record these in advance. Hope you have a great day and stay sweaty, my friend.